Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today is episode 3 of High Low Tech, and in this episode we are going to be taking a look at a bunch of monostable circuit designs. Now for those of you who don't have the foggiest idea what a monostable circuit is, it is something that creates a very short pulse, and they are extremely useful, especially in more complicated redstone circuits. Now in this video we are going to be looking at rising edge, falling edge, and dual edge designs, so you've got plenty to concentrate on, and if you feel like you're getting lost with all the terminology, do not worry. I will be explaining it as I go along, so let's begin. Now this first set of designs are known as rising edge monostable circuits and that is because they activate when the redstone turns on, so as you can see, when we hit this button, we get ourselves a pulse immediately and it's the same thing with this second design and the same with the third design as well. Now all of these are fairly self explanatory, but I will be doing a tutorial on each one with an explanation, so let's go. This first design uses a sticky piston facing upwards to cut off the signal and give you a very short pulse. So basically, this input here is running into this block and the repeater will take an output, but then the piston extends because it takes one and a half ticks to extend, it will cut off the signal and it gives us a one tick pulse. So you can see that right here. Now the best thing about this design is that you can run it straight into a sticky piston and it means that it will fire out the block. Now I've covered this kind of T flip flop mechanics in another video and I'll put a link to that on the screen so that you can check it out. This alternative rising edge monostable circuit works pretty much the same as this one, however it gives a slightly longer pulse. All you have to do is run an input into this block here, and what will happen is an item that you have got stored in this dropper, if you don't take it out, will be pushed upwards into the hopper, and then the hopper will put it back down into the dropper, which means that you will get a shortened pulse. So as you can see, there it is. All you have to do is take a comparator output from this hopper. This second set of designs are known as falling edge monostable circuits and they do sort of the opposite of the first. They give a pulse right at the end of the signal instead of right at the front. So as you can see here when we hit this button, we wait, we wait and then bam, we get ourselves that one tick pulse. Now the way that you create these two is very, very easy. You just take the designs that we had for the first ones and invert the signal running into them so that it is on. And I'll run you through that right now. Now the way that these work is really simple, when we hit this button here you can see the torch turns off which means that the piston retracts and then it is down by these blocks here so when the torch turns back on it pretty much does what the original monostable circuit did. The redstone power passes through the block and into the repeater but then the piston extends cutting off the signal and we got ourselves that one tick pulse and it's pretty much the same story over here. So when we hit this button, we get ourselves off and then when it comes back on, it will send a pulse through this dropper which will pass the item from the dropper into the hopper, but then the hopper is facing into the dropper so it will go back into the dropper and that means that we just get ourselves a very short little pulse through this comparator. I am sure there are some of you out there who are wondering why on earth I would need a falling edge monostable circuit. Why can't you just do it at the beginning? What's the point in all of the delay? Well, for those of you who saw the double piston extender video, you will know that these are very important because it means that you can get something to do something differently at the end of a pulse that it didn't do at the beginning. Now that may sound odd, but for the retraction of a double piston extender, you have to get the middle piston to pulse and you don't want that to happen at the beginning, so for that you use a falling edge monostable circuit. The final design that we're going to be looking at in today's video is a little bit odd, it is the dual edge monostable circuit and the reason that I say that is because there aren't really many uses for them, however I thought I might as well include it in the video because some of you might need one. So here we go, when we hit this button here you will see we get a pulse and then we get a pulse on the falling edge as well. So if you want to build this all you need is this little circuit here and I will give you a chance to get the screenshots or everything that you need, it's not particularly hard to remember, it's all one wide and there is no hidden redstone. Before any of you get the wrong idea, it can be used, I've occasionally used it in double piston extenders, just generally it's much easier to use rising and falling edge monostable circuits. Now the way that it actually works is because pistons take one and a half ticks to extend, when you hit this button, the redstone signal will reach the end and then this block will cut it off, which means that the pulse will be cut short, but then when it retracts, a piston retracts instantly, so then the redstone will still be on when it retracts, so it will uncut it off, the redstone power will go through, but then the power from the repeater will stop which means that the pulse turns off and thus you get two quick pulses at the start and at the end. 
I am well aware that there has been a metric buttload of explanation in this video and you may not have caught on to all of it, so I would suggest going back through the video and watching it all again and perhaps even building all the designs for yourself so you can get a rough idea of what's going on and form some form of explanation in your head. But as far as I'm concerned, that is the end of today's video ladies and gents, so if you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo and I'm out, I'll see you later. Thank you.